It is a remarkable service that takes place at University of California medical schools every year. A chance for first year medical students to give thanks and to remember. This is a cadaver memorial service. We knew this was another person who, out of the goodness of their heart, donated their body for us to study. And hopefully we can take the knowledge we learned from this body and really apply it in our professional career to help a lot of other people. Behind all that, all the nerves and muscles, there's a soul and a spirit behind it. It's quite a re remarkable to think about a person who you do not know offering their body to you as a gift for your learning. Interesting to me is that she was such a contributor to life that even in death, she is making a contribution to life through the donor program here at the medical center. She's indirectly training the next generation of physicians who will be a wellspring of life to a future population. There's more than just knowledge. Pascal had said, man is but a reed, but a thinking reed. And that, that is what sets all of us apart. And there's more than just knowledge that was being passed through this, though. There was a certain beauty inside of it. We are but human, yet behold our highest merit. That is, one gift of granting knowledge so we may think and share it. Seeing everyone study together, the faculty, this is the reason that I became a doctor. And this, I think this, more than anything, for me, at least represents what medical school is about. The tradition, everything. I never knew your name never knew where you were from. I never knew your face, never knew your voice. I committed every twist and turn of each and every vein and artery to memory. I touched every nerve, grasped every muscle, embraced your heart, held your hand through it all. Whatever your reason, whatever your purpose, I hope you knew your memory will live forever in my mind. There is absolutely nothing that compares in medical education to a student working with a human body. They need to have worked with a human body to have touched the organs, to have seen how the blood vessels connect to various organs, how the nerves come in. We need to have specimens, uh, human specimens, people who will donate their organs and their tissues. We need to use those tissues, uh, apply the techniques uh, in the lab before we can then move ahead and go into the operating room and, uh, and work and uh, help patients. Approximately a thousand whole body donations are received at UC medical schools every year. At San Diego, Irvine, Davis, San Francisco, and UCLA where this historic program began. It was really an outstanding concept. It was the first willed body program in the world. And from that beginning, every other state that had medical schools in this country developed a program. Everyone in the medical profession considers donating a body for medical science purposes, education and teaching is a profound gift and a very difficult decision for any donor in a donor family. Renee Trist has decided to donate her body when she dies. Suffering from a debilitating disease for 15 years, she hopes to impact the future of medicine. There are myriad examples of advances in medicine that would not have occurred without the availability of human bodies. A lot of people still don't understand why I'm doing this. At first my daughter said, why would you do that, mother? They felt like they would not have a place to go talk to me. They wouldn't have a grave to visit. My reply was to them is, um, you know that the brightest star up there is me always looking down on you, and that's, you talk to that star and I'm going to hear you. I believe families should look at this as a wonderful gift that someone gives at the end of their life. It's a way that someone can extend their reach beyond their life. 
can influence the lives of so many other people, but it's really a gift to society and to the world. The legacy of the person donating, their life really continues in a way through our hands. Like after this year of Anatomy Lab, I feel like I feel compelled to donate my own body in the future. I've wondered about all these things, the heart, what an artery looked like, and none of it made as clear sense as I saw it in an actual human body. And I, I can't, I could never express that, how, how much that means to me. A child's yearning to know, answered by your, your wisdom, in understanding what it is that sets man apart. Your compassion is still thriving, as such a call is answered seldom, but illuminates the most human heart. So many thoughts, that's why I had to write that poem. But I think what these people have done for us is like everyone's been saying, is going to follow us for the rest of our lives.